Week five in the BCFC is in the books with only five games left in the season. Each game is coming more and more important than the last. Hi, I'm Adam Kordick, host of Touchdown BC and your weekly host for BCFC game previews. The game of the week this week has to be the 5-0 Okanagan Sun taking a trip down the Coquihalla to take on the 4-1 Langley Rams. The BCFC's best defense against one of the best offenses. We talked to the Suns head coach Ben McCauley and got his thoughts on his team's performance this past weekend in a win against the Broncos and what he expects in a game against the Rams. Coach McCauley, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Coach, this past weekend you were coming off a big win against the Kamloops Broncos, 31-0. What are your thoughts on that game? Well, I thought, uh, you know, Kamloops is a tough team and, uh, you know, they're in a tough spot where I think they should have been, uh, you know, they should have been uh, with a victory by now. You know, I, I think they feel that way too, that they've, they're deserving, but, you know, not quite getting the job done. So, you know, lots of credit to Coach Yamoka and the staff there, getting those guys ready to play. And they're in a tough spot being in, you know, own five now, but uh, still fighting. And But I thought our defense played outstanding. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, obviously there was a shutout, but, you know, on top of that, our guys kept making big play after big play. Our defensive line was outstanding. Um, and I was really happy the way we took care of the football. Your team had five sacks against the Broncos, the most you have had in one game this season. What can you say about the D-line group as a whole and the depth you have at that position? Well, I think the funny thing is we played, uh, we really only rolled five guys in this week, which, um, you know, has been our, our deepest position. But um, we had to move a couple of guys to the offensive line with three guy, three starters going down this week on the offensive line. So um, we did did some juggling, but, um, you know, Lucas uh, Machado, Jonas Gehring, Connor Novak, Elias Rodriguez, and now Justin Gabriel, those guys pretty much played the entire game. Um, and, and they were fantastic. Um, you know, they, they didn't take a playoff. They, they uh, uh, were as fresh in the fourth quarter as they were in the first. So, you know, that uh, goes back to, you know, the, the off-season preparation and the week of preparation they do getting ready to play the game. They're in good shape. So, uh, you know, I was really proud of the way they stepped up. Now to this weekend, you visit the Rams on Saturday, a team who has won four games in a row and have proven that they can put up the points in numbers. What can you expect from the Rams come this Saturday? Well, they got a great coaching staff. Um, you know, Sean Olson's done a good job with a young group there of uh, being able to manufacture some points and, and put some good drives together. And really, we haven't ha uh, paid a whole lot of attention to them uh, just because we've been focused on our opponents. And um, But now we'll get into the film. You know, today, uh, I've already been in a bit this morning. and uh, They do a lot of things really well. They've got a lot of playmakers. Um, you, you know, they're going to be have us on our a game preparation wise this week um you know it, it, they're going to be smart the football um you know and that's that's one thing that's hard to prepare for is the, you know the actions and counter actions that we expect you know sean olson's going to have those guys ready to play so um you know we're, we're looking forward to it we think it's going to be a good test uh, maybe our best test of the season so far and um you know we we've always got that mindset we're going to uh be the best opponent we can be to ourselves during the week of practice and no different this week uh, except for you know it's going to be something new um, some new learning new wrinkles that we've got to take care of so you know it's, it's going to be fun but uh, at the same time it's going to be probably our toughest week yet. That is Ben McCauley head coach of the Okanagan Sun thanks coach good luck this weekend and we'll talk to you again next week. We also caught up with the head coach of the Langley Rams Kerry Joseph and talked to him about his team's performance in a win against the Raiders this past weekend and got his thoughts on the Rams' upcoming game against the Sun. Coach, this past weekend your team got down two scores early but were able to get it going to come away with the win against the Raiders 29-14. What are your thoughts on your team's performance? Um, I was uh, really happy with how hard they played um, in that first quarter. Uh, like I said, we got, we, went, we got down, we put ourselves in a hole. Um, the Raiders came out. Um, and we did match their intensity, and they got up on us. But the thing about this team is they, they always fight. They never give up. Um, and uh, we were able to prevail in the end. Your defense did not allow a point in the second half. Was this the best game your defense has played as a unit all season? Absolutely. Um, they just played as a team. Um, they fought for each other. Um, they went hard for each other. And um, 
luckily we're able to come out with a win. Now looking to Saturday, your team hosts the first place Okanagan Sun. What can you expect from the Sun? Um, it's going to be a physical game. It's going to be an intense game. Um, you know, uh, it's going to be the first time we're seeing each other, so gonna, there's going to be a feeling out process. You can only get so much from, from game tape, but uh, I expect a physical game that's going to go down to the last seconds. That is Kerry Joseph, head coach of the Langley Rams. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this weekend, and we'll talk to you again next week. Okay, thank you very much, Adam. Well, there you have it. If you're in the Langley area, that game is Saturday. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. at McLeod Athletic Park. For more coverage of the BCFC, follow each team's Twitter account and also the BCFC's Twitter account at BCFC underscore media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week and enjoy the game.